My name is Chef Marcus Samuelson. I work in Harlem at a restaurant called Red Rooster. And I've been cooking all my life. I learned cooking by my grandmother, Helga, that was a maid. They didn't even think about themselves as chefs. They were cooking because it was part of being a maid and then you had to do something. I come from Ethiopia, from a tiny place called Abrogodena. And when I cook and when I engage you in the food of the Red Rooster, I'm a representative of all of it. The red clay of Africa, the saltiness of the west coast of Sweden, and the incredible characters of the village as we know Harlem. When you think about the misunderstanding and the misrepresentation of African American communities, I felt like, well, Harlem is the jewel of that. These unique micro jewels of deliciousness. So for example, El Barrio, this beautiful Latin community, has incredible food that very rarely will end up on a blog. But it's there. You have this iconic market called La Marqueta. And if you come there on a weekend and you see Puerto Rican culture, 11-piece band, they serve pernil, you have Mexican tacos, you have everyone ageless in the community knowing what to do. Of course you dance salsa and merengue, of course you have a beer, of course you will see the guy with a big knife and carving the pernil. Now if you don't understand that, it's a guy with a big knife. It's a little West Africa where you're gonna see fermented shrimp, you're gonna see broken rice, you're gonna see different versions of grits. It's highly inspired by both Muslims and Christian cooking, coastal cooking. Well, that's linked to our culture, Gichi, Gala, what we think about as Southern food, soul food. So when I look at the restaurant, what inspired me in this restaurant, they're inspired by the street vendors and the food culture of Harlem, not the restaurant culture of Harlem. That's what Harlem can give in a way that we might not know it.